everyone! Again, this is Mr. M. Gomez. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, this is the fifth part of our discussion about the area and perimeter of the plane figures. And today, we will discuss about the area and perimeter of the trapezoid. So, without further ado, let's start! How do we derive the formula of the area of trapezoid? It was derived from the formula of parallelogram. As you can see, once we combine two congruent trapezoids, it will form parallelogram. So the area of trapezoid is half the area of parallelogram. And the area of parallelogram is base times height. So the area of trapezoid is equal to one half times base times height. The base of the parallelogram is the sum of two different measures, the bases of the trapezoids. So that is one half times the quantity of b sub two plus b sub one times height. So the final formula for the area of the trapezoid is one half times height times the quantity of b sub one plus b sub two or the sum of two bases. Please take note that the b sub one and b sub two are the parallel sides of the trapezoid. So the slant side and its opposite are not the bases. So let us have example number one. Let us find the perimeter and area of this trapezoid. So again, for the perimeter, we add up all the sides of the trapezoid. So the sides of the trapezoids are 11 cm, 9 cm, 11 cm, and 17 centimeters. So, perimeter P is equal to the sum of the sides, so 9 cm centimeters or centimeters plus 11 centimeters plus 11 c centimeters plus 17 centimeters. And that is equal to 9 plus 11, 20, plus 11, 31, plus 17, 48 centimeters. So for the area of this trapezoid, so that is area A, or area of the trapezoid, is equal to 1 half times height times the quantity of B sub 1 plus B sub 2, or the sum of the bases. So again, let us find what is height and what are the bases of the trapezoid. So height is the line that is perpendicular to the bases of the trapezoid. So what are the bases of this trapezoid? So the bases are not the slant sides of this trapezoid. The slant sides are 11 centimeters and 11 centimeters. So therefore, the bases are 9 centimeters and 17 centimeters since these sides are the parallel sides. So what is the height that is perpendicular to these bases? And that is 10 centimeters. So again, the height is 10 centimeters and the bases are 9 centimeters and 17 centimeters. So let us substitute the values of the formula. So that is equal to 1 half times 10 centimeters times 9 centimeters for B sub 1 plus 17 centimeters for B sub 2. So 9 plus 17, that is equal to 26 centimeters. Times 10 centimeters times 1 half. So 26 times 10 centimeters, that is equal to 260 square centimeters. Times 1 half, that is equal to 130 square centimeters. Or 1 half of 10, that is 5 centimeters, times 26 centimeters, that is also 130 square centimeters. For item number 2, the measures of the sides are 3 units, 6 units, 8 units, and 8 units. So let us have the 
perimeter of this trapezoid. So again, the perimeter is the sum of the sides of the trapezoid or add up all the sides. So P is equal to 3 units plus 6 units plus 8 units plus 8 units. So that is equal to 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 8. So 9 plus 8, 17 plus 8. That is equal to 25 units. For the area of the trapezoid, again, the formula is 1 half times height times the quantity of B sub 1 plus B sub 2 or the sum of the bases. So again, let us identify what is the height and what are the bases of this trapezoid. So the bases of this trapezoid are not this land side and its opposite. So 8 is the land side, therefore its opposite and this is land side are not the bases. So the bases are 3 and 8. What is the height? So, the height is perpendicular to this basis. Of course, this one measures 90 degrees. Therefore, the height of this trapezoid is 6 units. So, now let us substitute the values of the formula. 1 half times height times the quantity of B sub 1 plus B sub 2. So, A is equal to 1 half times 6 times the bases are 3 units plus 8 units. So 3 plus 8, that is equal to 11 units times 6 times 1 half. So 6 times 11, 66 times 1 half, that is equal to 33 square units. Or 1 half of 6, that is 3, times 11, that is 33. So again, let us have example number 3. So the measures of the sides are 4, 7, 6, 4, and 6 units. So as you can see, we have the missing length of the side. So this missing length is equal to the opposite side since this is a square. So therefore, this is also 4 units. So now let us find the perimeter of this trapezoid. So perimeter is the sum of the sides. So again, let us add up all the sides of this trapezoid. So P is equal to 4 plus 7 plus 6 plus the missing one is also 4 units plus 4 plus 6. So 4 plus 6, 11, plus 6, 17, plus 4, 21, plus 4, 25, plus 6, that is equal to 31 units. For the area of the trapezoid, that is equal to A, is 1 half times height times the quantity of B sub 1 plus B sub 2. So again, the height is the side perpendicular to the bases. So the bases are not the slant sides of the trapezoid. So the slant sides are 7 and 6. Therefore, the bases are 4 and 14. So 6 plus 4 plus 4, 14. So the height is 4 units. So again, let us have 1 half times the height is this line perpendicular to the basis. So 4 units times, so B sub 1 is 4 units plus B sub 2. So B sub 2 is 6 plus 4 plus 4, that is 14 units. So 14 plus 4, that is equal to 18. So 
4 times 1 half is 2 times 18, that is equal to 36. 36 square units. For item number 4, the measures of the sides are 10 feet, 6 feet, 12 feet, and 6 feet. So we have the missing length. This missing length is equal to the opposite side, which is 6 feet, since this is a rectangle. So therefore, this missing length is also 6 feet. So now we can use these measures of the sides in getting the perimeter. So perimeter is the sum of all the sides. So add up all the sides. So P is equal to 10 feet plus 6 feet plus 12 feet plus 6 feet. And also the missing one is 6 feet. So, 10 plus 6, 16, plus 12, 28, plus 6, that is equal to 34, plus 6, that is equal to 40 feet. So, the perimeter of this trapezoid is 40 feet. For the area of the trapezoid, Again, the formula is 1 half times height times the quantity of B sub 1 plus B sub 2 or the sum of two bases. So again, what are the bases of this trapezoid? So the bases are not the slant side and its opposite. So the slant side is 12 feet and its opposite is 10 feet. Therefore, these are not the bases. So the bases are 6 feet and this side. So 6 feet plus 6 feet which is 12 feet. So again, the bases are 6 feet and 12 feet. What is the height? The height is the line perpendicular to the bases and that is 10 feet. So again, the area A is equal to 1 half times the height is 10 feet and then times the quantity of B sub 1 plus B sub 2. So bases are 6 feet plus this side is 12 feet 6 plus 6 so again 12 plus 6 is 18 feet times 10 feet times 1 half so 1 half of 10 is 5 times 18 that is equal to 90 square feet therefore the perimeter is 40 feet and the area is 90 square feet so let us have example number five the measures of the sides are 9 meters 17 meters 11 meters and x so find the value of x if the perimeter is 44 meters so again how to find the value of x that is x is equal to perimeter minus the sum of all known sides. So, s sub 1 plus s sub 2 plus s sub 3. So, x is the s sub 4 or the fourth side. So, that is equal to perimeter is 44 meters minus the sum of all known sides. So, 9 meters plus 17 meters plus 11 meters so 9 plus 17 that is 26 plus 11 that is equal to 37 meters so 44 minus 37 meters so that is equal to 7 meters. So therefore, x is 7 meters. For item number 6, find the value of x if the bases are 9 units and 15 units and also the area is 48 square units. So again, the formula for area is a is equal to 1 half times 
height times the quantity of b sub 1 plus b sub 2 or the sum of two bases. So again, area is equal to 48 square units. So substitute 48 square units is equal to 1 half times height is x times b sub 1 is 9 units plus b sub 2 is 15 units. So 9 plus 15, that is equal to 24. So 9 plus 15, 24. So x then times 1 half is equal to 48 square units. So again, 1 half of 24 is 12. So that is equal to 12x is equal to 48 square units. So 12, divide both sides by 12. So, 48 divided by 12, that is equal to 4. 12 divided by 12, that is equal to 1. So, therefore, x is equal to 4 units. That's it. I hope you learned from my video. And if you learned, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell na all for you to be updated in my latest video. Thank you.